the marae is an iconic cultural treasure in New Zealand, but many are struggling to maintain their facilities and others need to grow. Marae DIY brings together the tribe, skilled tradies and a whole community of supporters. Ten minutes everyone, let's up. Nothing can go wrong. As we dig into special projects in true DIY spirit. Last board. Last, last board for us. To renovate and restore the marae in only four days. Marae DIY! Marae. This week requires a massive effort for a super-sized rebuild. We have to get these frames up tonight as we've got trusses coming tomorrow, so it's all go. Are you going to get the mahi done? Well, I'll come back to you on that one, eh? Me now. <laughs> we're going up we know my hide and my kia marae DIY. This time we're on the rural road to a place called Whakaki in the Rohe, the Takiwa of Ngati Kahununu. Ai, e ki ana te kōrero, he paku āuta, he paku āro wai, hei pūpūtanga mō te pani me te rawa kore. Whakaki renowned for its manaki tanga, but this time it's about manaki whenua, manaki whare, manaki marae. Tucked amongst the dunes of the northern Hawke's Bay is Whakaki marae. It's a massive structure and even cosmetic work to reverse wear and tear through time and elements is a huge undertaking. The hall is the main focus for activity at Whakaki Marae. Te Horo, as it's known, is also the Farenui and serves its ceremonial role for the whānau of Whakaki. It's no longer weather tight and is cold and unwelcoming. Manuhiri have no shelter from bad weather and this whānau, famous for its manaakitanga, are desperate to improve and upgrade their facilities. Geez, Uncle, she's looking a bit rough. Oh, I think you're right there, my girl. I'm glad we've got people coming in to help us fix this. The Marae DIY team, whānau and supporters are welcomed onto the Marae with the challenge to tame this giant and reveal it new and improved in just four days. On this DIY, we're going to strip three sides of the whare, insulate and reclad with James Hardy linear weatherboards. Replace the worn corrugated iron on the southern side of the roof with colour steel max, better suited to our coastal location. We'll build a new Manuhiri shelter with an extended maho for all weather protection, which will need to be framed up, clad and roofed to match te horo. In landscaping, the main focus is to close the dangerous driveway straight off State Highway 2 and form a new safer access road, arriving at the front of Te Horo. Well, Fano have descended on Whakaki not just from around the country, but from Aussie too. Ai hoa, on paper, this DIY is pretty straightforward, but in reality, the scale of this build is huge. I just think David and Goliath. Noreda Fano, homai tehi, homai te kaha! Tiwata! So today, we're just going to strip the roof, strip the walls. We're going to leave that back roof on. The whānau and workers are getting a brief of the mahi and materials we'll be using for this project from Marae DIY builder Hari. Pull them out. Kapoi. Sweet Mike. Hare and the team on the Manuhiri shelter have a small window to get ahead as the whānau strip the old roof and cladding. Our key target today is strip the roof, strip the iron off the horo, leaves us exposed to the weather, so we've got to get the paper back on today. They say rain's coming, but hey, it's my tamanui tara. Prominent local artist Sandy Adset has links to Whakaki Marae and has brought a group of fine art students from Te Wānanga o Aotearoa to create heke to adorn the interior of the new extension. Saying this is, you know, it's something that we did. It profiles them doing a DIY at a marae. It's important for them as their involvement, for the ones who are engaging. So, you know, if we can just do some of the, and we'll have a, a variety, and you can look at it and say, 
yes, I think I like that and it's fine. But if it's not, then we, I prefer not to leave it. You've been acquainted with the stories uh, here from um, about you know what I mean, those sort of stories? No? No, no what, that's why we thought we'd come with a, an open book. We'll just have some of the images, but we've still got to get the stories that you think would be, uh, yep. a, you know, a positive. Yep. We're just we're just planning the imagery, and then you need to say to us that, what about this story? What about that story? And then they'll create the stories that, in the end, are ones that you'd like to have related. Fakaki Marai's project coordinator Bob Solomon has the job of keeping an eye on the big picture, what the whānau want and the long-term vision for Fakaki. This is the first step towards the work that we want to do. Uh, and the work is focused around our marae because that's about the people that's around our roto out there because, you know, that's around our taonga as well and it's around our whenua. The goal we want to reach is to have ownership once again, have tino ranga tira tanga over the whenua that we once had. 100, 150 years ago. But we've got to bring whānau on board, and our whānau whānui. There's 80 people who live in Whakake. They go from babies to adults. Having said that, there's thousands of people who fucking pop up to Whakake. And we want them to have that relationship, you know, that connectedness, that stickiness to the land again, to our place. So. I think for me, it's Whanaunga Tanga, really, at the end of the day, catching up with the whānau, bit of a reunion something um, uh, more of a joyous occasion rather than coming home all the time for Tangi. It's lovely, yeah, beautiful. It's um, sad, but good. It is getting done at long last. I'm born and bred in Whakaki here, and uh, it's good to get the whānau together, and that's what the DIY has done, it's brought us all back together. No, this is just the start. The start for our marae, and we in a lot of ways, we just appreciate the help we're getting. Built in 1926, the hall at Whakaki, or Te Horo as it's affectionately called, was a bustling hive of activity and was a focus for the whole Wairua region, not just the whānau here in the village. That hall was built by the Munro brothers. They had skills, but they didn't have the tickets they have nowadays. Yeah, and they built that marae, and uh, so nice to see. It's been real. It was the only substantial building in the whole of the Rohe that could hold Manuhiri that came to Wairoa. It was a very, very busy place. And it's surprising we used to hold dances here, green, green and gold balls. Green and gold balls. Yes, that's why it remained a hall because it could take the numbers. It must be kahari kua tō ngā kau tā wākou tau ngā te kau te kite i tēnei a hua tanga. Kōhoki mai a mātou tamariki, kite kāinga a mātou tamariki. Kōhoki mai. E tahi mea mōhi o whānui tia e te tangata tēnei kāinga a whakaki. Pai te manaki i te tangata. Mōhi o pai katoa o mātou tamariki te tēnei mea te manaki tangata. Te pai mō tērā. Engari, i nā nō te tahi mahi hei mahi mā rātou, kia tūkaha rātou i roto i tō rātou nei whare. Pēhi o te wairua. O aera. Pēhi o te wairua. Ia ku mā reikura. Pēhi o te wairua. Pēhi o te wairua. A tēnā e kui mā, sorry to say, it's time to go. Whakaki is a tiny papakainga. It will be tough keeping kui your eyes off the marae. Coming up, it's the little bumps that could slow the project down. We have to get these frames up tonight as we've got trusses coming tomorrow, so it's all go. Parai diawa, kona whakatika tika, whakapai pai. Marae dia wa, kona fuka tika tika, fuka pai pai. Fuka ki was once a focus point for Ngati Kahununuki Te Wairua, the largest structure in the Rohe. It's been a social, sporting, and cultural hub. 
With some much needed TLC, the whanau are hoping to return Te Horo to its glory days. If we were to list the mahi to be done here at Whakaki, it's nothing us at Marae DIY can't handle. re roof the whare, re the whare, to find the access way, build a manuhiri shelter. As Hare would say, ma ma noiho, easy as. But what we have to remember is the size of the build. Keen for a catch up. Now tell me. First half of the day is done. Kate Pehia Kwa, Kate Pehia Koto, how did you get on? Oh well, um, pretty good, eh? Everyone's cruising along. Um, Matua's just starting to do the ply on the floor. The boys are just gonna start laying the river. A bit dodgy with the wind, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, no, all in all, not too bad. We have to get these frames up tonight if we've got trusses coming tomorrow, so you know, we don't want to slow the roofies down, so it's all go. And so how's your confidence? Are you confident that you're gonna get the mahi done? Well, I'll come back to you on that one, eh? After consulting with the queer, the imagery for the heke is starting to unfold. We've been given our guidelines to do a corridor that's attached to this place and to the fauna for me. And my corridor for the pattern will start at the sea, out here, I'm one, then through to the, the lake, Whakaki, and then into the fauna down, down the bottom. These panels, on, I understand, will help enhance the new maho that's coming up from Te Horo there and as part of the new extension. And these will form part of 10 hiki that will be attached to the ceiling of that maho. Throwing their full weight into this community project, Ngāti Tū Mātauinga have stripped the entire eastern wall and just about finished the green stuff installation, bringing us one step closer to cladding. Well, you know, the, the hall was built in 1926, which is a long time ago, eh? So I guess it's uh, well, overdue, well overdue for a, uh, a facelift. You know, and hopefully it's around for, for a few more years, eh? My mum's dad built this, and his brothers. I'm looking at it and I'm going, well, Papa, you know, the work is still going. And I'm proud to see this and be part of it. I spent 30 years in Australia, but I always miss this place. So, yeah, it's good to be able to, to come back and to contribute and, and to see how you know, beautiful things happen to our marae. Apart from a general tidy up and new planting around the Manuhiri shelter, Marae DIY landscaper DCG has one main task for Whakaki, closing the existing dangerous driveway straight off State Highway 2. So DCG, now I've had a bit of a walk around and everything is about the build. It's all about build, build, build. hari has got his things sorted, but I see that you are dealing with things a little bit more organically. I can see the look on your face, Steve. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a real challenge. Um, we don't have a digger on site. I figured that. Yep, and that's causing all problems. Got a lot of whānau here. Mm. QRS are awesome. I mean, they're, they're coming in, but they've got their hands tied doing all the roading stuff, and I really need to get all of this pulled apart yeah. so I can get some stuff ready for the whānau. So I've just been on the phone, sorted out a digger, I'm trying to get a car in, pick it up, get yeah. something done. At a time when many iwi were rebuilding carved whareinui, the whānau at Whakaki placed priority on building a multi-purpose structure, large enough to hold growing numbers in the rohe. I'd say, you know, we're waiting for car, or oh, oh, rahi haere haukama, mōngā, mōngā tangi hamane, ko oh, rahi haere ake. The <laughs> Three times as big. Mm. We'll have it three times as big as that. We'll have to know you do on Kamura. I've walked up, Papa. I took Papa, Toto Nei, who gave way at the way to put Kiorato. It's in a booking of Kiorai or Rato, ring a ring on me, and I'm in a foot where I are holding on the tongue. Rau hukira tau ki te whakatangitangi ngā ngā era pitātārara. 
saxophone, my trombone, my... Ikrai matau ikunai? Oh, hey, hey. Jazz band da ratau ikunai. Kwa hua pūhe, hai re, a Monroe ne, hafe kāhe na hau ke zahi. Kwa hua pūhe, hai re, 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 Kuahua, kuahua menei, kuahua menei ya, kuahua muka muka hai nei ma, sekarang ini nei fe, fe ara. The hall is 90 years old. The old girl can be forgiven for being a little lopsided. With our um, our wadi being so old, 90 years old, um, it's slightly titaha. So what we had to do, we've got a level uh, shot on the corner. We shot the level just where the steps are, about seven metres away, and in that seven metres, it's 40 mil difference. If it's exposed to the weather, it'll rot, and so it'll rot the foundation. So that's why we, it needs to be covered. And by law, it should be covered by uh, 50 mils. <laughs> As you can see, DCG's just arrived with his digger. He's going to be such a happy camper, which is awesome. Work can start on digging out the old driveway and levelling the approach to the new Manuhiri shelter. Well, Fano, we're nearing the end of day one and it's been a good day. Aye, brother. Hare and Uncle Puata are both confident they're hitting their targets. DCG has finally got his digger, so everything is all good here. Whakaki. Uh, and the Fano are pretty sure they'll be able to keep Nanny Naina off the marae <laughs> for the next uh, four days near our Nanny Naina. Uh, but I tell you what, I've just got the phone call, so I'm going to leave things in your capable hands. Tohine, kakite koutou. Ka pai, hei a pupu e hoa After the break, rain is looming. You want a little sauce for the rain? What do you reckon? Should the boys carry on? Bada hai dia wa. Kona whaka tika tika. Whaka pai pai. Nestled between the dunes and lagoons in the northern Hawke's Bay, Whakaki Marae is on a mission to return to its glory days as a focus for the region and a bustling hub of cultural and sporting activity for the Ngāti Kahungunu ki te wairua. Well, Morena, bro, day two, eh? Day two, brother. Man, did it rain last night? Sure did. You fellas must have known something because you were here covering it just on dark. Oh, we had a word to you all, bro. But hey, he's helped us out today because Tommy Nui Tara is shining on us, brother. Yeah, so that's not going to affect you now? No, it's not, bro. We're going to cut into the roof, um, we're going to lay the rafters, and yeah. away we go. Yeah, and I've got the digger going, I've got trucks here, I've got turf coming, so it's going to be a good day. Well, eh? let's get on with it, bro. Go. Frames are going up for the Manuhiri shelter extension. The framing team can now work on rafters and roof trusses for the extended porch, which means the roofers can accurately cut in the colour steel max to complete the main roof. With 4,000 metres of James Hardy linear for the reclad, there's still a way to go. With a big digger now on site, DCG can get serious digging out and levelling the old driveway, ready for turf and gardens around the new Manuhiri shelter. The extension frames are ready to go, but work on the roof trusses has been stalled. CJ, has he had words to you about the, the, the rafters? Yeah. 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 I'll, do, I'll come out, I'll put yeah, all the we'll suss it out. Off. See what we need. We're making new trusses for our Manu Iri shelter. We just found the new amendments on the plans. So, and they've gone to bigger and wider rafters. And so we're just gonna make sure we've got the right material for the right job and hopefully that the material hasn't been cut up for another job. Not too much of a hassle when it comes to the size of timber, it's just whether they've got it. Um, being in a little while wide or usually they have to buy stuff in from out of town. Once it arrives, oh, then we're away. It's only a couple of hours, so I'm not too stressed. But with the number of whānau home from far and wide, a lot can happen in a couple of hours. A lot of the work has is, is, well, not been done for a long time on this, this place, so now it's the opportunity, it's been great. And yeah, all the fun are coming back, and that's the best part of it. I live in Melbourne, and I got the call. I've been waiting for this call for years, so once I got it, 
the flights are booked, now yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Too much. Just a, it's quite. A, it's amazing just to catch up with family, Fano, and, and and everyone I haven't seen for for years and years and years. Yeah. This is my second time at the Marae ever, and meeting my Fano is yeah. It's been amazing. My father and I fucked up here, but we grew up in in the Cardo. So we're a long way from where we grew up, but it, it never really was home. This is home. So. Well, Fano, my native intuition is telling me it's gonna rain. And as we all know, I don't do the wet, but what I do do is beautiful music. Now, I know for a fact there are some amazing composers in this Fano, so I'm on a mission to find them. Kuia Naina Buxton is a prolific composer of Waiata, but one chant in particular caught my ear. I tito hia e au kia mau kia mohi o pai na whakatipuranga o te whakaki ki tō rātou kai wā kainga, me o rātou hiwi maunga awa kuira. Ko karita ki raua, ko manga taua hei mana ki ngā kai, ko pāka te ngutu awa rere ai ngā wai o te rāhui. Ko karita ki raua, ko manga taua kuira nga tanifa, tiaki i nga kai, ko tētahi kai rōwai, ko tētahi kai tua whenua, kai runga te whenua. Kia mau pai nga mokopuna, o he tanifa kai konei hai tiaki nga kai, me pērā nō rātou, tiaki nga kai. Sina, hau mie, hui e, tai ki e. Back at the marae, the sky is threatening more rain. The one thing we can't control is the weather, and um, I guess what we had said yesterday was everybody say karakia, last night um, to, to try and make things better for today. But no, you just got to have faith in these things, that these things work and, you know, we're now faced with a rainy day and everybody had to be prepped rightly in terms of the gear that they had going on site. What do you reckon? Should the boys carry on? I think so. We just put a plan in place with our matzo puata, you know. If it does rain hard, everybody has to come down off the roof. We have to cover all our leads, put plastic over them, yeah. And just. Keep moving forward. Indoors, the Tamariki are finding ways they can contribute to the DIY and stay safe and dry. Well, mostly dry. We brought in some eels for the Malai for eating for all the people. This is our tongue. This is our gift. We live off, uh, get fed from the, the root of the big lake down there. We're very fortunate to have our lake that feeds us. From grandmother to granddaughter, Nanny Naina's mokopuna tuirina co-wrote a waiata aroha specific to this whānau. Uh, taku whānau ngā uh, te amohanga rangihau. Uh, nāna i tito ngā kupu mō tō mātou kapa ake o te wairoa nei, uh, te reringa kōtuku. Um, he oi i taua taura uh, kāre rātou i, i whakamahi i tana titonga. Nō no reira i whakāro ake tō, uh, tōku kuia. Um, yeah, kia koua e, 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 e maumau, te waiatara, a nā reira i whakaaro ia kia, uh, kia pātai atu ki taku whanaunga, kia whakamahi a te waiatara mō ko nei ake, mō ngā whakatipuranga o te whakaki. Um, nō reira, a, a nā kūte rangi i tito. Ka pai. Painting's done, we've got the, the new structure up, it's fantastic. Fingers crossed, still smooth, still steady the flow. Uh, we're on schedule with most things, slightly behind on the roof, but I'm sure we can make up that time. Tomorrow's the big day, I'm definitely looking forward to tomorrow. We're gonna be nearing the end of the project, so we're all gonna see a much clearer picture of uh, the finished product. And of course, that is really exciting for all of us here at Whakaki. DC 
MCG, I've been offside all day. I've been chasing amazing way out and I've come back and the marae is completely different. Talk me through your day, you boy. Well, it's been, it's gone so quick. I mean, it only seems like an hour or so ago that I was talking to Harry in the morning saying, hey, we're going to have rain, brother. And suddenly we're at the end of the day. And, and that's been the sort of pace all day long. Fano have just absolutely rocked and rolled. I came around here after lunch. They said they were going to do a fence. There it is. <laughs> Done. And I've got the pavers here, all ready to go for tomorrow. I've got the turf here. So, yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow. Uh, the highlight of the day for me is just seeing the progress on our beautiful building there. Um, just seeing it change and, you know, grow beautiful. It's, it's lovely. Ehoa, there have been so many changes happen. Catch me up on your day. Well, the whole Wano have been going crazy today. The sun come out and they just went for it. Got the frames up, got the James Hardy linear board up. The whole drama with the trusses, hey, it's all going to be sorted tomorrow. So what you're telling me, bro, is that we are on track? How did I put you? Mama noi ho. Coming up, it's Rear Hall, Hunter Gatherer. They won't bite you. No, I didn't anticipate them biting me. But I idea why. Gonna fuck a tiga tiga. Fuck a pie pie. But I idea why. Gonna fuck a tiga tiga. Fuck a pie pie. Day three here at Whakaki Marae and Bob. There are so many people here. Whoa, the place is pumping, Ria. Not even nine o'clock, I'm looking them all. We had 250 in yesterday. There's another 100 registered to come in today. No one might have my department. Kapai. And mm. does everyone have something to do? Most of them will do, yeah. Well, we've got mahi for them, for sure. We'll find it for them. Kapai. Well, I'm going to go and try some of your guys' delicacies. The morihana, the carp. Ooh, tino reka. Ooh, any tips for me, Bob? Have a piece of bread in there. Okay. I don't know what that's all about, but the kui will tell you what that's about. Okay. And be careful. All right, all right. Kapai, I'll take that on board. We'll kapai to ra, and we'll see you after. Yeah, kwe Hare must get the roof trusses up for the new extension so the roofing team can finish the roof and make a start on barge boards and spouting. The James Hardy linear is almost all up. Final filling and touch ups of the Razine Colonial White can begin. Topsoil is ready for the new turf. Local contractors QRS have the big machines rolling for the new access road. And a little gentle manipulation will have the Fano paving team good to go. Moreno, it's uh, day three here and beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. And as you can see behind me, the Fano are right into it. They uh, can't wait to get these pavers down. Deadline for today is I want to get all of this done so the builders can finish building the, the maho out there. We, we want to lay the turf this afternoon, get the gardens done and just generally tidy up. Fana are arriving as we speak, so I think we could have over two or three hundred here by this afternoon. No matter how big or small the job, there are plenty of hands willing to take on tasks as Fano numbers swell. Perfect time to duck out to the lake with Uncle Johnny to check the nets for these famous morihana. It's a very special fish. It's a very sweet fish, but it's also a very bony fish. If you don't know how to eat it, or don't touch it, but we're going to have some. And our kuya and kroa who are there with us today will, will tell you all about that themselves. Yeah. We're really very fortunate to have this lake, you know, it saves a bit of money and a bit mm -hmm. of a good thing. And it's it, your own pan yeah. takakai. Aye, 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 aye. yeah. Yeah, take it off. Oh, well, there's a swimming pool of ours yeah. when we were kids, and it still is today, because <laughs> there's uh, nothing wrong with a bit of jump in the water and have a bit of a... <laughs> Bit of a cocoa. Go, go, go. I, I have a cocoa. Yeah. Have a bit of a wash, have a yeah. bit of a hold. So these are our morihana, eh? Yeah, our morihana. These are only small ones, but this is a sample there. Eh? It's a sample. You can pull that string. Yep. Pull that string and keep it tight. Oh. They won't bite you. No, no, I didn't anticipate them biting me. Oh, well. While Uncle Johnny has his cocoa, he has a swim. We're going to take these morihana back to the marae to our chef.
what we're going to do is we're going to fix the timber to it, and then that'll help steady it as we go up. It's the middle of day three, and trusses for the maho are finally ready and going into place. The new road is looking like a road. Close to 300 whānau are on site and everyone's busy. I mean, growing up here, I mean, look at it. Just straight land, freedom. It's way to Waipo Namu, Hengari, Hukumai, Tau Kainga. Ahe nui ngā mahi, te ako, ako i te reo, ngā whakapapa, ngā hitori, whakapanau ngā tanga. Ai. changes and love that like all of the arangatangi in it um, are all involved so we all have a part in it like all the little panels and painting and ah oh, it's so cool it's lunchtime and our kuia are expecting morihana for their kai well uncle ja this is all brand new to me i've never tasted morihana so i'm really excited about what this kaupapa is about how would you prepare your morihana. I'll whip the scales off yep. and I'll, I'll gut them. Every other area I usually gut takes the gut, we eat the stomach and all. Yep, so nothing goes to waste? No. Put them in straight in the pot, wash them and then stick them in some cold water. Yep. And then we'll um, just throw it straight on the stove and add a bit of salt later. Is it an introduced fish or is this native to this area? Um, it's native to this area but there are introduced morihana carp. Mm. Um, this place, uh, they're different shape, they're bigger. Yeah. This is about, the, in the days, this was the size, this was the big size. Now we get them like this, mm. you know, huge. But good thing about huge ones is you can see the little fine bones and you don't get choked. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ja reckons 15 to 20 minutes at a gentle boil and our morihana are ready to eat. Final fixings on the roof trusses equals one happy builder. Mama Noiho, Eihare. At the moment, the boys are putting in the stainless steel bolts, which are imperative since we're close to the coast. So, yeah, placing in the rafters, which would be awesome to hold the mahu up, uh, which is uh, we'll keep our kuya dry when they come home. All that run out, bro. Push it up there. Demolition material from Te Horo has been kept separate and won't be reused. It's all being buried, as is traditional for the remains of a whare tipuna, the ancestral house. Our morihana are ready, but apparently carp eating requires some skill. Oh, very bony. Very bony. It's all bony. I the way on the way you got your taking it off the ribs. You've got to be very careful. OK, I hear the puku's got no bones. No. no. Oh, OK, so that's a good place for someone like oh, me to start. It, yeah, it's <laughs> the Watching my father, it was just yeah. like watching someone playing a, pe a, a mouth organ. Yeah. And I, and I used to sit there and gape at him and I thought, oh, no sweat. No bone, no nothing. You start from there and finish down this end. Yes. I'm eating it with my fingers. I'm not using a fork or anything. Mm. It's easier to navigate easier the bones. Yeah, navigate the bones. Mm. You always have a bread. Yeah. And what's the bread for? In case you fall Just in case you swallow the bone. <laughs> Well, it's clever, all right. Mm. This is my first time of eating this kai, and it's definitely different to any other fish that I've tasted. It's buttery. Aye. Mm. It's light. It, it's got a taste of its own. And I can't picture it with any other type of fish. Mm. 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 With your... Oh, look at that. Mm. <laughs> I always eat it like this. Get out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back on site, progress has been good. The roof tie-downs from ITW and Prida have the trusses on lock, but delays in getting them up has put the tradies behind. Brothers, what's happening? <laughs> hey, well, I've just had a bit of a portal with Matu um, Lata and um, decided uh, tonight the tradies are going to go to six. Have a bit of a quick break, 10 minutes, carry on till dark. Apopo, 
I'm gonna start at six and push it right to the deck until uh, when our pool come back. Okay. Bye, Tira. Bye, Tira. Even with a last-minute push, some tough calls will have to be made. And we've given the, the best shot, yeah, no, but at much. some point we've got to make the hard call. It's day four, our final day here at Whakaki Marae, and what I'm seeing, DCG, are a whole heap of bodies working on the marae. There's still things <laughs> being done, brother. Tell me what's going on. Well, we fell behind yesterday. We said we've got to start early. Whānau, true to their word, 6 a.m., they were all here. But, you know, there's a lot to do. They're still putting the James Hardy linear up. We've still got Colour Steel Max going on the roof, but Beeline Scaffold are right here. They're pulling it down as fast as it goes up. Whānau in, garden's going, it's happening. Now, Dees, I'm bringing the nannies back in a few hours. Can I trust that it's all going to be done? Oh, sister, have faith. Come on, you do your job, leave us to ours, all right? Bye. Come Hi. Come by. I can't get the amount of people here that they don't fuck up up with here, but they're here to help. And it's just, just about bringing a tear to the eye. Come with this finish. The old back is not as young as it used to be. And the old legs are starting to run out, but it was awesome, been awesome. Last night I was a bit tired and got home, went straight to bed, had a shower, straight to bed. <laughs> this morning my missus woke me up, get up, time to go. I was like, oh, it is. Everybody seems to be so happy and we're going to get to see people at a funeral. This is the best event that I've seen in a long time. Awesome to see our place. Get them up and see all our whanau home and keen. They have waited patiently all morning and finally the tamariki on Whakaki can reveal the artworks created over the last three days. You can place yours around the corners of the garden. Okay, to Pike? So if we all come outside, follow us, and we'll see you out there, okay? Come on. Pampered and preened, ready to return to Whakaki, our kuia are waiting patiently. Oh, morena e kui ma. Morena. Oh, me te atahu a huke o koutou i te ahia i nei. Kei te pehea o whakaaro mō ngā mahi kua mahi anei e rātau i nei tō marae. I'm so thrilled to know that Whakaki is having this DIY makeover. It's just, I, I'm so proud to be here and to be sort of involved with the queer that are all here with us. We call it back here. I'm happy to go to work. I'm going 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 to go to work. Don't ask me to make your cup of tea. They won't tell me nothing, those two girls. They change it. Then they talk to their cat and their dog. They don't want me to see it until I walk on. That's what I'm looking forward to, mm. looking on to mm. by that new way. Mauriora! The Fano are pushing hard to complete the DIY, but it's time to make some tough calls. We're really kind of running out of time. Um, we've got to make some decisions. We've still got roof to do, the ridge cap's still on, there's still barge flashings to do, and other bits and pieces. What's the priorities? I really like the ridge cap on. So get the iron on, don't worry about so much about the barge flashing and spouting. Yeah. All right, guys, cheers, mate. The heke are complete and will be hung when all the work is finished. This is one way I can contribute 
and helping out our marae. I'm so glad they've done this and well in my time. I'm mean, now it's up for my mukus to come in and make it even better. We couldn't have done it without our beautiful cooks. Finish touch. Kill of it. Kesi hara mai ra mata te ata nei i ki ata o ki kohoa ka haere te ata o ki reira te o te ata o hei tangi ka o te ata o hei mai engari ka kōrero mai a piri ki awa ano kōrero ki te mai na mata te o o te te mea ka tangi no reira e ki a ki nei o ki a koe e me tangi ra ha o ki a rata o kato. Nui aku whakāro, i rota te mōhio, i o tātou taha, mai i te tīmata tanga o tēnei kaupapa, tainoa ki tēnei wā, i o tātou taha nā mātua tīpuna e arahi ana, e arataki ana, i a tātou katoa. Nā tamariki mokopu? Ā. Kuira, kuira i etahi wā karere nā roimata. Engari, i rota te mōhio, kā tātou ana. Tata tau. Ah, kuira. Kite ya ra tau e mahi ana, mahi tahi ana. Aye. Na paira o tuma tau. Aye. Me wa tata e tamariki na me i hara mai i hoki mai mai tawa. Ka ra wekio. Ke ka ra wekio. Ka ha ra tau. Kote wera o te ra. Aye. Ah. Toko whakaaro, ko te mai na tamariki nei. Kai toko ki o konohi. O koe nei o koe whakaharo, au kau nei. Ha, hoki mai mātou. Te rawa e te hoki tēnei mai. Ha, te ātāhu atu tata marae. Koe nei o koe whakaharo. I'm just, you know, so proud of my whole whānau. Uh, and our mates as well who come along to help us. I mean, it was such a, a, an effort to do within that, that period of time. It was an amazing feeling for me. I knew that they had seen such a, a different place. They went away, it was one place, they've come back, and it's a totally different place. But the wairua is still the same, and the whānau is still the same. We now just have better ways to manakitanga our, our manahiri and our, and our whānau at our marae. I believe this is the start of our journey to, you know, create a brighter future for our small village of Whakaki. We really want to do that. E hika mā, kei whea ngā kupu, kei whea ngā kōrero. I wish the brother Teori was here to see this. Ingari ka whānau mai tōna, tama tōna, pēpē. Sending love and blessings and aroha to him and his whānau. Well, the mahi here is complete. Everyone is happy. Everyone is ready to go. Nō reira e hika mā, tūturu wā, fiti waka mau wā mai kia tīna. Tīna! Hui ia i! Him out.